things. First, everything the Bible tells us. Amen. Even our faith must be proven and must be tested. Why? The Bible tells us for without faith, it is impossible. It is impossible to please God. Without faith, in Hebrews 11 verse 6, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So, if it is impossible to please God without faith, it means that the genuineness of your faith must be proven. The validity of your faith must be proven. He said, for he who comes to God must believe that he is God and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Why? Genuine faith carries reward. Genuine faith carries what? Reward. Validity of faith is important in your life. In your life, in your ministry, the validity of faith is important. Very often, the faith of Jesus was validated, not even by outsiders, but by his disciples. Amen. We look at an account, we look at an account in Mark 11. The Bible said that Jesus has cursed a fig tree. And said, let no man eat of the fruit therein. And nobody said anything when Jesus said it. And you would think that everybody has believed that the word of Jesus will come to pass. Amen. But thank God for people like Peter. Peter does not just believe. Peter likes to prove all things. Amen. And so the Bible said the following morning when they were passing by. Peter looked at that tree to see if what Jesus said has come to pass. And lo indeed, and lo indeed, the fig tree has withered. And Peter called to the master and said, see, what you said yesterday has come to pass. Jesus was not excited. Praise the Lord. Jesus did not say, did I not tell you what did Jesus say? Mark eleven twenty two. What did Jesus say? Have faith in God. Yeah, Peter was proving the faith of the master. Yeah, Peter was confirming what he has heard. And Jesus said to him, If only you will have faith in God, you will not doubt. You will not walk in unbelief. You will know that the word will come to pass. Praise the Lord. Thank God that we know that the word of God will come to pass. Because the word is our life. If the word is not true, then our life is fake. If the word of God is not true, our life is fake. Because the word is our life. It must be true. It is true. I believe it is true. I know that it is true. That every word of God, it is completely true. And it works. Say the word works.